everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a video about obtaining a visa um, to Ghana um, I recently um, applied for a visa for my daughter um, she's almost two years old and the process is fairly different than what I'm used to because I've applied for visas for my other children um, before COVID and before COVID usually you would go, you know, you would fill out the application online and then go in person with all the documentation um, and then, you know, you would come back a few days later and come and get the visa when it's done. However, with COVID things changed. Um, everything is done online and then you submit everything by mail. So I'm just going to run through um, how to obtain a visa for a child and then I'll also touch base on how to obtain a visa for an adult as well. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to pull up my notes on my phone. <laughs> okay. So for a child, um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go onto the Ghana Consulate General website. Um, the website is pretty self-explanatory. You go on, um, you're going to click visa, um, and then you're going to go through the steps and then it's going to pre present the visa application to you. Um, once you complete the application, um, you can print it out and then you're going to um, hold that and, and add it to the rest of the documents that you need to send over to the visa, um, to the embassy. I, I apologize. Um, so yeah, it'll just ask you a set of questions like your full name, your address, um, your address that you intend on going to Ghana, who do you intend on, or why do you intend on visiting, visiting Ghana, who do you intend on visiting there, um, stuff like that. And then they'll ask you about, you know, um, your finances, about your finances, meaning do you have any financial uh, means um, or, you know, do you have any money um, when you're traveling to Ghana, stuff like that. Also, um, they'll ask you um, your purpose of your visit. Um, I already mentioned that. <laughs> um, stuff like that. They'll ask you questions like that. And then um, as you go through the application, you finish the application, you print it out, and then you get to a page where they have certain things like either print out the application or um, certain other documents appear. Um, so in terms of those documents that appear, um, there is a page, there is a, a link for something called letter of consent. Um, letter of consent meaning um, basically, you know, um, letter of consent meaning basically a letter that's going to be signed by both parents stating that you're allowing the child to travel out of the country and to travel to Ghana. Um, you're basically asking permission. Um, from each parent. So from what you need for this is that you need um, um, identification for both parents such as an, um, a state ID or a passport, photo, um, passport um, or stuff like that. Um, they need a copy of that identification for, of each parent. Mind you, if you have um, sole custody of your child, obviously it's going to be only one parent that needs to do this. But if both parents are um, on the birth certificate, um, you need both parents. If you have sole custody of the child, obviously, again, you'll do it by yourself. Um, so you'll need both parents to have signed the letter of consent, um, which you print out towards the end of the application as well. And then once you have that signed, um, you'll add that to your documentation. You're, not, you're gonna have a list of documentation that you're gonna send over to the embassy, so you'll add that as well. And then you'll also add again a photocopy of your ID, such as your state ID, um, a, um, a copy of your state ID. Um, I did front and back. Um, uh, they don't really have any specific rules on that, but I just did. And then, um, so also for the child, you need a photocopy of their birth certificate. Um, yeah, just either, it doesn't have to be in color, it can be black and white. Um, just a photocopy of the birth certificate. You also need a photocopy of the biometric page of their passport. So the front page where they have their picture and then they have um, like, you know, the eagle and the, the signature part there, that page you need to do a photocopy and also add that to your documents. 
and then you also need um, two passport photos of the child um, you know two official passport photos um, and then you also need or lastly you need a money order of $90 so when you have compiled all these things again I'll go through the list the visa application the photocopy of the birth certificate um, the photocopy of the biometric page of the child's passport uh, a photocopy of both um, sorry it's getting it's not focusing there it is okay um, a photocopy of both parents um, identification it can be either state ID um, their parents passport um, stuff like that the biometric page of their passport or the front and back of the state ID um, the letter of consent signed by both parents and um, two passport photos and a money order of, for $90. Mind you, the $90 is something that I'll touch base on right now. They have two types of entry. They have a single entry that you can do and then you can do a multiple entry. So single entry um, visas are basically for a one time kind of thing. So you're gonna enter Ghana and then that's it if you leave the country and you'll come back again you need to reapply for another visa and that one costs 90 dollars for the multiple entry i'm not quite sure how much it is now i think it's 110 or 120 dollars they have something called the multiple entry which is and it lasts you a good um i think five years yes so once you have that you can enter the country leave and re-enter the country without having to apply for another visa um, so that's the long and short story of that um, so i'm going to insert pictures of the single entry which is the one i had for my daughter um feel, you know when okay so before <laughs> before i got a little ahead of myself before i submit the picture um also let me just finish the rest of the process. So after um, you've compiled all the documentation that you have um, that you need to submit to the embassy, then you're going to go to your post office and then you know you can submit it. Um, you can do like um, the priority mail um, express where someone has to sign off and then they'll give you a tracking number and let you know that everything is gone. Oh, because <laughs> lastly, last but not least you need to send the passport so you need to include the child's actual physical passport in the documents so the documentation that all i mentioned that i mentioned has to go and then including the child's passport because they need to put the visa inside the child's passport in order for the child to travel um so once you have all those things together then you can submit the paperwork um to the embassy so like i said you can go to the post office you can choose not to do this but i think it's it's just peace of mind if you have someone signing off um like the express priority tracked mail so that you know it gets there like you know i live in new york and the embassy is in new york so they have two embassies they have one in washington dc and they have one in new york um like I said, because I live in New York, that's the embassy closest to me, so that's the one I always work with. And it got to them like the next day. <laughs> so it wasn't that bad. But um, mind you, the embassy is open to um, Ghanaian um, passport holders who need to do any type of renewals. But if you're going for visa applications, they're not accepting anything in person. You have to mail it, you have to send it in the mail. Um, so the address is um, on the website of the Consulate General. Um, initially, I had a trouble finding the address. Like, I know where the embassy is, but online I couldn't really find where the address is because this says like print, print pre, print like pre UPS or pre label, but that link didn't work for me. So um, I went on and I found the address, and that's what I did. So I submitted everything, sent it off with the USPS mail. Um, it got to them the next day and I tracked it and it says someone signed it off and they got it. Um, so once they did that, within like less than a week or so, then um, someone sent, the UPS um, sent it back and they handed it to me in person. 
and everything was fine um so it was great it was very smooth there was no problems i didn't have any issues i was worried that they'll send it back to me and say oh, i'm missing something but they didn't send anything back they said everything was fine and they gave me the visa so here i'm going to submit a picture right here um showing the visa how it looks it's going to say single entry and it's valid for three months so you have to enter the country three months within three months after the issuance date of the visa um, I believe if you don't enter the country within three months of the issuance dates of the visa um, it will be null and void so you have to enter you have to know also um, another tidbit to send in um, a copy of your itinerary for your flight as well um, if it's closer they might rush it because they know um, they don't have any express services or counter services at this time so they might um, rush the service for you but if not um, just it's just a, a good idea to um, enter this itinerary and the itinerary of the parent who the child is also flying with so that they know um, what you know who they're going with and when and the date so they can kind of go okay no we have to send this person their visa a little bit more quicker because they're leaving within like you know two months or one month okay um, not to say that those who are leaving later they'll slow it down but you know it just gives them an idea of when you're traveling so that also you can add to your documentation which is the itinerary for your flights um, so yeah they send it back pretty quick um, so it's for the adults it's pretty similar even though I know it's more focused on the child this is what I'm doing this video on because I didn't really see too many videos about applying for a visa to Ghana for children <laughs> um, maybe they have a lot for for adults but so for adults it's pretty much the same thing except um, you know minus the letter of consent for the parents and um, you know but it's pretty much the same thing yeah you just want identification 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 um, if you're doing multiple entry it costs a little bit more so you're going to get a money order for like 120 dollars and send that over as well um, and they'll check off money uh, multiple entry and again you have to enter the country within three months and it's valid for five years so i have a multiple entry visa so i got it back in 2018 so i have 2023 i'm good so i can keep leaving the country and entering leaving the country and entry without having to reapply for another visa until 2023 so it's a good idea to get that as well if you know you're traveling a lot um, it saves you the hassle of having to reapply for the visa especially during um, uncertain times like this such as with the pandemic <laughs> um, yeah so that's just a short and simple version of it um, if you guys have any questions just let me know um, please answer it um, in the comments any questions you have and I will be happy to answer them um, and just let me know how your experience goes as well uh, with applying for the visa. Um, you shouldn't have any problems as long as you just follow the instructions the way they are. It's outlined for you. You just have to follow the instructions. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck, guys. And um, if you like the videos that you're seeing on my channel, please like, share and subscribe. Um, and please just let people know about, you know, the content that we're trying to put out there. You know, we want to support each other in the best way we can. Um, so yeah, just keep watching. Okay, guys. So stay happy and healthy. Bye.